Hi everyone, today we will solve this integration which is integral minus 1 by 2, 2 plus 1 by 2 integral part of x or sometimes is called as integer part of x plus log of 1 plus x divided by 1 minus x into dx. How do I solve this? This problem is pretty easy to solve it as long as if you just actually notice what is this integral part of x as well as this log function. First of all, um, we'll worry about this log function over here. What is this log function is? Um, note that this is an odd function. Why do I say that? Because you know, all that you have to do is you take the x and then substitute it by minus x. Am I right? Divided by 1 minus minus x and that will give me log of 1 minus x divided by 1 plus x. Now that I know it just actually log function so I can probably write this as 1 over 1 by minus x divided by 1 plus x and whole power minus 1 and that means this is minus 1 times log of I can now invert it back and say it's 1 plus x divided by 1 minus x correct and that means now I got whatever I have started with so this was my um, f of minus x let's say and I got minus f of x that means the f that I have taken which is more over here log of uh, 1 plus x divided by 1 minus x is an odd function that means now what we have so now that what we have is integral for this one is going to be 0 why because the limit over here is minus 1 by 2 to positive right plus 1 by 2 so that has been void of that means now I have left with integral minus 1 by 2 to plus 1 by 2 integer part of x plus log of 1 plus x divided by 1 minus x into dx gives me simply integral minus 1 by 2 to plus 1 by 2 integer part of x into dx right why I told you this is going to be 0 now we have integral part of x so first of all we understand what is this integer part of x you see I have actually drawn here what is integer part of x whenever you have any x value which is lying between two integers now the integer part of x is a function which takes the smallest to uh, actually the greatest integer which is less than or equal to that number meaning if your x is actually slice over here the greatest integer which is less than or equal to this number is actually right over here so similarly here in you have uh, any x over here then the greatest integer which is lying just before this x value is actually over here that's my 0 right so to be an example to give an example you have let's say 1.25 now what's the greatest integer which is uh, less than or equal to 1.25 which is 1 right so minus 1.25 for example what is that I know this minus 1.25 will be somewhere here am I right and therefore the minus 2 is the less uh, integer which is greatest among all of the other integers so this is minus 2 okay hopefully that is understood now here what we have here is we have a uh, integrate part of x so that might we can do is now here we have minus 1 by 2 to plus 1 by 2 so note that I can now write it as minus 1 by 2 plus 1 by 2 now I actually bring one integer between now that I can actually write the integral into two portions that is minus 1 by 2 to 0 plus integral to uh, integral 0 to 1 by 2 correct fine now what is what the value this integer part of x will happen will take between this integral and also what will happen to this um, integration between the 0 to 1 by 2 as well uh, clearly as I have already um, discussed what we have here is any value over here any value will over here will take an integer value which is before this value so however uh, actually here what will happen is this the immediate before value which is an integer is minus 1 and any value which is lying over here will take an immediate before integer value which is 0 here therefore any va value for this integration will be integral minus 1 by 2 to 0 minus 1 into dx plus integral this is 0 to 1 by 2 plus 0 into dx so that means that's 0 so the left out is just only this much and I know this is minus x and the limit is minus 1 by 2 to plus 0 and therefore this is 0 minus of minus um, minus of minus x which is again minus x and therefore now this is minus half and therefore plus half so that's the answer for this question um yeah i think i'm right
okay no no actually minus of minus x no minus of there's a minus and there is a minus x and there is a minus 1 by 2 for that so plus 1 by 2 and minus 1 by 2 correct so this will become plus here therefore this is minus 1 by 2 so that's the answer for this question thanks a lot for watching